so today we are going to start with the benzene and its derivatives as you know very well the basic structure of the benzene it contains a cyclic ring containing alternate double bonds okay means alternate double bond means what it contains a double bond single bond double bond single bond double bond single bond like this okay so this is called as a conjugation this is called as a conjugation how many of you are aware about conjugation conjugation means alternate double bond like uh, you know very well uh, the dance of prithik roshan like this double bond single bond double bond single bond okay so if you go for basic structure of benzene then benzene contains benzene structure is look like a, it has a structure like a vada pav uh, like see the cutlet is between the pav okay so see the structure is so this is so the this is the basic skeleton for the benzene that is made up of a carbons and above and below the benzene there is a big cloud of a pi electrons this pi electrons moving above and below the plane of benzene means benzene structure is a benzene is a planar how many of you are aware about the uh, hybridization can you tell me what is the hybridization of this carbon anybody else what is the hybridization of a carbon in the benzene sp2 sp2 yes sp2 yes, how you can recognize that why carbon uh, this this carbon having the sp2 hybridization yes be fast okay then sigma bond plus bond um, lone pair lone pair is the carbon having the lone pair no sir no so three sigma bonds are there in that yes, carbon yes good three sigma bonds are there one is between the carbon and hydrogen two are between the carbon carbon okay so these three sigma bonds uh, then again three sigma bond means what they follow uh, means whenever there is a three sigma bond there is a sp2 hybridization it is not like that there is a one formula for uh, uh, for counting the hybridization in the any type of a compound like a is equal to 4 a is equal to 3 a is equal to 2 okay so if a is equal a is the number of sigma bonds okay do not count uh, pi bonds just count plus bond okay so number of a sigma bond plus number of lone pair if this number is equal to 4 then the, the uh, corresponding hybridization is a sp3 if this number is a 3 then it is a sp2 type of hybridization and if the n is 2 then it is a sp hybridization and these two are planar in the nature okay see so how many sigma bonds are there, uh, are at this carbon this cc1 cc1 and ch1 so these three sigma bonds are there so n is equal to 3 either there is a uh, there is a no any lone pair at this carbon so that's why it is a zero so 3 plus 0 is equal to 3 and therefore n is equal to 3 and the corresponding hybridization is a sp2 and because of that the benzene is a planar in the nature okay are you getting this hybridization yes sir yes okay, yes so benzene having planar structure because of its hybridization so it forms a cc sigma bond ch sigma bond cc sigma bond these three sigma bonds are present at every carbon of a benzene ring then this pi cloud why this pi cloud is above and below the plane of a benzene because the remaining pz orbital of a carbon the remaining pz orbital see what is a hybridization uh, sorry uh, 
what is the hybridization of carbon in the ground state what is atomic number of carbon 6 sp3 so sp3 electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p 2 okay so whatever the remaining see this is complete this is complete this is like this one one and this is half uh, this is bracket uh, okay so during hybridization the bracket p orbital of a c during hybridization that is in the excited state whatever the one extra s orbital that is jumping into the this bracket uh, p zero orbital and this will remain blank this uh, sorry this will remain uh, unbound and this electron revolves in the benzene thing like this if you join this if you join all these p orbitals then you will get a cloud like this okay so this is a cloud which is happen above and below the plane of a benzene because of the revolution of a p orbital p orbital electrons now uh So there are some uh, properties of a benzene. Uh, the properties of a benzene we will see later on. But before that, the basic history uh, already we have seen in the last lecture that uh, benzene is generally discovered by the uh, Faraday. First formula of a benzene is discovered by Faraday, and its structure is uh, discovered by the Kekulé. The Kekulé got a daydream. and during that trip he uh, found that uh, means uh, say the dream of uh, snake who is uh, uh, biting his uh, uh, tail in its mouth so that's why on the basis of that he designed one structure there are lots of structure he he uh, designed lots of structures and on the basis of that simultaneously he uh, done some experiment on that and on the basis of experimentation he determined that which is a final structure for the benzene okay so he uh, he has put forth some concept related to the state chain compounds also state chain compound having also having the uh, c6h6 formula c6 but there are some reasons why we are not uh, designing the state compounds state chain compounds as a benzene the reason is that the state compounds see they having a, as the formula is c6h6 there may be a possibility 100% possibility of a unsaturation uh, are you aware about unsaturation what do you mean by unsaturation saturated and unsaturated what is the mean of that if bond is present then compound is unsaturated yes if by bond sir if five bonds are present hello if there is a double means there if there is a multiple bonds are present means double or triple bonds are present the the structure is called as a unsaturated if the structure is a uh, saturated then there is a no any type of a, uh, double bonds are or multiple bonds are present in the structure but the formula says there should be a double or triple bonds on the basis of that he took a benzene and treated it with the uh, ben, uh, treated it with the bromine bromine water in presence of a chloroform as well as a, he treated with the km in a floor uh, are you aware about saturation and non saturation test means if there is a saturation or on saturation if if you want to find out saturated compound is saturated or unsaturated then you have to take the compound then you have to treat it with the either uh, bromine or with the kmno4 if it change in, if there is a decolorization happens then your compound contains saturation uh, unsaturation means see if you take a benzene in the test tube and in test tube if you add a uh, bromine water in presence of a chloroform and if you heat it if there is a change, uh, see bromine color is a 
wine red color and if you if you found a change in color means that is a decolorization decolorization means change in color if there is a change in color happens then your compound contain unsaturation okay why these things are happen because if there is a double bond is present then if treated with the bromine in presence of a chloroform then there is a broken down of this double bond and there is a addition of this addition that the reaction happens okay so because of that see bromine having wine red color if we add to the initial compound then there is a change in color happens and that is called as a decolorization if there is a decolorization happen means what there is a no such type of a double bonds are present in the starting compound okay but you know very well benzene contains a double bond okay can you tell me benzene shows this type of a reaction no sir why uh double bonds are uh, partial double bonds that's why uh, whole ring um, contains uh, the alternative double bonds that why it is uh, strong bonds and can't be break yeah very good actually the reason is resonance the double bonds are continuously moving the double bond is not fixed at the particular position and that's why when we are attacking any type of a reagent on the double bond then it will not react and because of a resonance benzene is very puckered very very uh, strong ring that do not treat with the bromine as well as a KMnO4 even if we add a KMnO4 there is a formation of a glycol at the presence of atom at this position of a br there is a oh is formed so because of a big return benzene see as there is a double bond as there is a multiple bonds are present in the benzene but still it doesn't show this type of a reaction and on the basis of a such examples like again uh, another if you say another example that another evidence for this if you treat the benzene with the ferric chloride bromine in presence of a fecl3 or fbr3 uh, then there is a bromo benzene is formed but if you treat the fbr3 in presence of hbr that hbr is required for the uh, bromination or for the saturation of a, this total environment of a, this reaction there is a requirement of a hbr in, in the situation and Uh, you have to prepare hbr in situ and that's why you are taking the fbr3 in presence of a scl or uh, any other acid so there is a formation of a hbr so benzene treat with the fbr3 in presence of a bromine forms a uh, bromo benzene this reaction uh, and after that after formation of a, this bromo benzene we uh, we found the boiling point of a, that bromo benzene and it is exactly equal to the bromo benzene boiling point so that's why on the basis of this we can determine that uh, the compound shows electrophilic aromatic substitution okay but if you treat it with the straight chain compound then there is a breaking down of a straight chain and there is a no addition of a br into the at the um, this the uh, means there is a saturation happens and your compound will uh, changes original uh, uh, resonance and because of that aromatic see after treating br after treating fbr3 with the bone bro uh, benzene then your compound forms a bromo benzene in which your benzene does not lost its aromatic nature but if you treat the fbr3 with the straight chain unsaturated compound alternate double bond containing compound then it can breaks the resonance and that's why the losses they, they lost the compound lost straight chain compound lost its uh, stability but here the compound does not lost its stability so these are the some evidences related to the uh, benzene okay so uh, on the basis of such uh, such things 
the benzene are uh, benzene is generally uh, discovered now we are moving to the hookel rule okay so hookel rule is a very simple that is nothing but a 4m plus 2 uh, the formula is a very simple Four and plus two is equal to the number of five electrons. This is okay. You can call it as a Hukel or Hukel rule. Anything, okay? On the basis of you, you can call it. Uh, so four n plus two is equal to number of five electrons. What is a n? N is a number of heterocyclic or number of a cyclic ring. So how many cyclic rings are present in the benzene? So benzene can be only one heterocyclic ring. So four multiplied by one plus two. So four multiplied by one is equal to four plus two is equal to six. Now count the number of pi electron. Okay, pi electron means for wherever there is a single double bond, then there is a one pi electron. Wherever there is a wherever there is a Triple bond, then there is a two pi electrons. Okay, on the basis of this, you can uh, identify the pi electrons. Okay, so how many pi electrons are at this carbon? There is a one pi electron. So one, 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 one. So count it one, two, three, four, five, six. So six pi electrons are present. So here our value is also six, and number of pi electrons is equal to six. So if both matches, then your ring is a Ring follows the aromaticity. Again, there are lots of uh, lots of things are there for the aromaticity. So for the for the compound to prove its aromaticity, there are the there are three parameters are required. First parameter is that the structure should be cyclic. Structure should be cyclic. Your structure is a st cyclic. The second is that your structure contains. Alternate double bond. Alternate double bond. I already told you the dance of Rayleigh Grosjean. Okay, so uh, double bond, single bond, double bond. Have you uh, have you seen this dance? Alternate double bond. Okay, so that dance is called as a conjugation dance, and that is nothing but a conjugation here. That is shown by the basic. Now, uh, see. Uh, second criteria is that alternate double bond should be there. Means there should be a conjugation, and third criteria means what? That is a hookel rule. The cause, the structure should follow, should must follow. The structure must follow the hookel rule. Now there are lots of compounds which shows the aromaticity. If you take an example now, what is the name of this compound? Naphthalene. Naphthalene. Okay, yes, it is a naphthalene. Okay, so can you count the number of? Uh, can you apply? See, apply the three criteria for the uh, fulfillment of aromaticity. First is the cyclic nature. Is this structure is a cyclic? Yes. 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 Okay. Good. Very good. Then second is a either there is a alternate double bond is present. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, or or you can cycle. Uh, you can snakes out around this ring. Uh, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, then single bond, double bond, single bond, like that. Okay. So this ring follows the rule of uh, second rule that is a alternate double bond means conjugation. Third rule, four n plus two. Who can rule? Who can rule should be followed. Okay, so tell me how many cyclic rings are there? Two. Two. How many cyclic rings are there? Two. 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 So four multiplied by two. It is equal to eight plus two is equal to ten. So count either there is a present or presence of a ten pi electrons or not. So you can start here. One, two, three. Wherever there is a double one, you can count one. Electron, one pi electron there. So one, two, three, four, 
then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 is equal to 10. So the ring is ring is aromatic. Okay. So these are the some basics related to the hookel rule. Hookel rule, again, there are lots of examples as you go for um, what is the name of this compound? Tell me the name of this compound. Pyrol. Yes, very good. It is a pyrol. Uh, can you apply these three criteria for this? Everybody should try it. First is a cycle. One, I don't single Yes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. See. You can call no, no, lone no. pairs as a two. One lone pair is equal to two pi electron. One. One lone pair is equal to two pi electron. So two. These are two, okay? This one, two, three, four, and this two, one, three, two, five, four, four, six. How many cyclic two rings? Five, are there? Six. Six, huh? One. Cyclic ring, one. So one cyclic ring is equal to, then you can follow four into one plus two. Into four six. into one into two. Okay? Six. So six is six equal to six. six. So that is. Thus, your structure follows. Okay. Now, alternate double bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond. Then you can call it as a double bond. As they are a pi electron, and one bond is equal to how many electrons? One bond is equal two, to electrons. two electrons. Two electrons. Two electrons. Okay. So you can call it as a double bond. Okay. So double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, like this. Okay. So these are the some uh, uh, you can now today uh, you can try number of rings and their aromaticity according to these three rules and uh, after that you can also you can show me or you can WhatsApp me uh, what type of practice you have done. Okay. At least near about minimum 10 compounds should be uh, Evaluated by every student by today only. Okay, and uh, just tell me on the WhatsApp or on the your uh, SY group is there. So on the group you can post your paper, practice paper. Okay, or you can directly uh, message me regarding this. Okay, now so this is your homework. Okay, already you are at the home, but this is your homework. Okay, uh, next is a Resonance. So, how many of you are getting uh, resonance? Aware about resonance? How many of you getting uh, confusion during drawing the resonance? All of you can unmute as well as show me your screen so that I can confirm that how many of you are learn. Uh, Attending lecture. Yes. Ah. Now me. Now uh, tell me how many of you are. Just raise your hand. That you are getting resonance. Uh, uh, how many of you are aware about resonance? Is it easy? Little bit confusing, sir. Okay, confusing. Always confusing. But uh, I want to tell you one simple and sober technique. How to remind that? Okay, see. So this is amazing. How to draw the resonating structure for the pencil? Okay, see. What you can do? Now we are drawing 
the resonating structure of a benzene like this. Okay, and we are getting the directly if this bond is shifted here, this bond shifted here, and this bond shifted here, then you are getting the these two canonical structures and the common resonating structure is a like this. Okay, so these two canonical structure you can draw on the basis of a resonance. See how you can draw it. First of all, you must follow the basic rules related to the resonance that the resonance should be in the one direction only. The number of charges on the each uh, entity present on, in the ring or each atom present in the ring, the charges, everything should be similar. In the every structure, it should be similar. Okay. See, for example, if you draw the resonating structure like on this way or on right way, okay, uh, we are going to right, uh, clockwise direction. So if you put this double one on the external side, okay, means you have to shift this one to this car, okay. You have to put is, uh, this double headed arrow between the two canonical structures. These are as it is. You have shifted this bond to this carbon. So if you shift the bond, then this carbon become negative. This carbon become positive. Okay. After that, you are shifting here and like this. So whatever the electrons are outside the ring, you have to put into the next consecutive bond and whatever the uh, next penultimate bond that you have to put onto the next corresponding carbon. Okay? So, we have the electron is in the ring, we have to the middle bond so, the sequence wise is okay. Ulta sulta na Okay. The next thing is after that, see, we, we are shifting this two electron onto this bond. So, there is a double bond. Okay. After that, positive charge remains as it is. We have to shift this double bond to this carbon. So, there is a minor charge. After that, again, we have to put this onto the Next consecutive bond, and this bond you have to put outside. Next is the see this bond came here, and this bond going outside. After that, plus and minus there is a double bond. So this, there is a shifting of a bond, see, the bond is here, next bond is here, okay, like this, like this. So this is a basic resonating structures, these are the basic resonating structures for the pins. So if you go for electrophilic aromatic substitution, this is very important, in electrophilic aromatic substitution. Now tell me, what do you mean by? Ortho, meta, and para positions. Anybody else? Ortho, meta, and para positions. Which is the ortho position? Which is the meta position? Which is the para position? What is ortho, meta, para? These are the positions. These are the Nomenclature system for the substitute and use of the trivial in the trivial nomenclature system. Okay, so what is this position? Ortho meta. Ortho. 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 This is ortho position. Yes, sir. Okay. This is meta position. Meta. Meta position. Okay, and this is para position. Para position. Para position. Okay. So is this right? No, sir. 
no yes. sir huh. if, if the functional group is present then we can determine the position yes. according very to good. functional very, this is very important if either there is a functional group is present then and then the next uh, subsequent substitution we have to apply for the next uh, next uh, uh, substituent we can call it as a ortho meta or bar okay means there is a if there is a one and two position one and three position meta one and four position yeah, like this okay only one position is there there is a no you you cannot apply ortho meta bar okay means for example if there is a cn is there so you can you can't call it as a ortho clone okay this is a one clone or only chloro benzene getting it is a simple but if there is a oh group is there if oh group is present and at the second position we are applying uh, we are attaching cl then and then there is a which position ortho position very good it is a ortho position if cl is present at this position then Meta, meta, meta. Yes, very meta. If OH is present here, then ortho. Then both are ortho to each other. Okay, one and two. This one and okay. Everybody should uh, aware about ortho meta para position. Okay, that is very important. Ortho meta para, and you have to apply ortho meta para in trivial as well as a ibuprofen nomenclature also. Okay, so these are all are related to the uh, nomenclature whenever you are using for the see. Jeter, you know, my sanction is basic benzene, say benzene, whatever it is, basic, basic, say, which benzene, cha reaction, zala, jeter is zala, so get most thing. Hey, it is simple, simple, most thing. Apna apna baare mein the already shikil hai. Okay, ato baga next is the properties of a benzene. So which are the properties of a benzene? So all of you, uh, I think all of you are uh, aware about the properties of a benzene. So one by one you can tell. Tell me first property. Anybody else? Any property? It is of aromatic. Yes. yes. It is an aromatic compound. Yes, very good. This is the first and most important and simple to write. Okay, first basic. Uh, it is aromatic. Then second. Hybridization is a sp two. Yes. It contains physical properties. Physical chem. Physical properties. Tell me about physical properties. It is insoluble in water. Voice. It it shows resonance. It shows resonance. Okay, because presence of alternate double bond. Okay. Again, it is very stable. Again, it is. It, is, it has characteristic. Okay. It has odor. It has odor. Yes, it has an aromatic odor. Very good. Again, it is colorless. Colorless. Yes, liquid. Yes, it is a colorless. Again, good. Go ahead. Soluble in organic solvent. Yes. Soluble in organic solvent. It is soluble in only organic solvent. Okay. Very good. Again. Highly inflammable. Highly flammable. What is the difference between flammable and inflammable? Inflammable. It catches uh, fire. Catches fire. It catches fire. It catches fire. Inflammable means. Flammable. Okay. And what do you mean by inflammable? Both are same. Both are same. Inflammable and flammable both are same. Okay, there is no difference. Only the difference is that the uh, generation. So before the times it is called as a flammable. Now it is called as a inflammable. That is that is the only difference. Okay, both are same. And again, uh, boiling point is high. Hmm, high. It's low. It's below hundred. It has a flash point below hundred. So that's why it is used as a solvent. Mm -hmm. That's why it is used as a solvent. Again, 
it is highly toxic ha ah, yes very good it is a toxic it causes it uh, benzene causes cancer ha so these are the some properties okay so all of you are aware about it so i think i should give you a homework for this so more and more uh, properties you can write it down and tell me the in the next lecture